Hello, today I'm going to go over the Circuits version 2 dice set and some cool stuff that you could do with it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your watch, go into backpack, and then click use on your maker pen. Once you've done that, you're going to want to look at your maker pen, go into your palette, gadgets, bring this a little closer, gadgets, dice set v2, and you're going to want to spawn that in. Now if you drop your maker pen, all of these dice will spawn in front of you. Now they all do the same thing, but some of them have more sides than the others. But I'm just going to use the really simple square dice for this video. So you can go ahead and delete all of the other dice if you want to. So now that we've got this dice, we've got a couple different pins we can mess around with right here. The player rolled. This gets the player that threw the dice and rolled it. Result. This gets the number that it rolled on, an integer. And this sends a signal whenever the dice is done rolling. So in this video, I'm just going to show you one little cool thing that you could do um, with these dice. I mean, the possibilities are really endless, but this is just one thing you can do. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our maker pen, open our palette, and under circuits v2, we're going to look up a equals chip. Now, what you can do with these equals chips is you can get a true or false boolean value um, if the A pin is equal to the B pin. So, for instance, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to check if the dice number is equal to, let's just say, 3. That way, we can use an action or do something whenever the player rolls on 3. Um, you could make as many equals as you want so that you could do something different for each number So we're gonna wire the equals to the result. We're gonna configure this bottom pin to three So if the result equals three, it's going to give a true boolean value So now we're going to get an if chip if We're gonna spawn that above the equals chip right here we're going to wire the roll finished to the if chip, and the condition will be equals. Now, we are going to grab one more chip. It's a velocity set chip. Velocity set. We're going to spawn that into the right here. The target is going to be player rolled. Uh, we're going to wire then to set velocity, and we're actually going to need one more chip. It's a vector create. Vector create right here. This is just X, Y, and Z coordinates. Um, I want to shoot the player up when they're done rolling for this experiment. So I'm going to configure Y. That's up and down. I'm going to configure that to 20. Hey guys, it's Emily Waffles, yay. And just a quick little thing. We're actually going to configure this speed value back to 5. Um, I actually think it's better this way. So we're going to now wire vector, th uh, the vector create to the direction. And now we're done. If we grab this dice and roll a three, I rolled a two there, so I'll just put it to the ground. You'll see that it shoots us pretty far up into the air. Um, so that's just a little cool thing you can do on the self scaling back down here. You don't have to do it, uh, of course, as violently as that. You could turn the, the Y maybe a little down on that. But that's just one cool thing you can do with the dice. Now, like I said, the possibilities are pretty much endless with these dice, um, with all of the information that it gives you here. And you could do a bunch of cool uh, different things depending on what number it lands on. Uh, maybe some kind of random uh, game, uh, something like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little tutorial on Circuits version 2 dice. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Peace.